Welcome in, Art Peeps. Happy Art Day to you. I got an Encanto project I am really excited about. We got a door display that we are going to design your own door design from that movie. Definitely lots of different ways to customize it and make it unique in your own. Such an awesome and fantastic, inspiring movie. Lots of stuff that we'll talk about throughout this video. Before we get too far along here, go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's the easiest way to get all my free, fun videos coming out every single week. Just like this one. Now let's get back or let's get started on our door display. We're going to start probably about the size of my hand is going to be our door design but i'm actually going to start on the bottom maybe about a ruler size uh, a little bit bigger than our ruler size i know that my sheet of paper is about 11 inches so if i go in the middle not quite 10 10 would be five so five and a half would be my middle i can put a little mark there because then i know that my door will kind of be in the middle aside sometimes i even do kind of a light idea for where my door is going to be and then i can kind of came, come in with my ruler and make it a little bit more perfect and then but it still gives me an idea that i can fit it in the middle because we want it kind of symmetrical um even on both sides so on one side that looks good so far so good on each of these sides i'm going to put like a little notch um, for the wainscoting or kind of the decorative pieces on the wall, the wall will kind of be above, but then there are these little like wood decorative pieces that you can do again, whatever designs. Slide your ruler up. Again, you don't have to use a ruler. You can just kind of freehand this. I like using a ruler because I get a little bit more control. Okay, that looks cool on there. Um, probably on the bottom, I will do some sort of floor or tile. Let's get back to our door. I'm gonna add a little bit of trim that goes on the side of it. Mr. Shooty actually used to sell doors, so I know that that is called the casing of the door on each side that it will go out. And then there's a little decorative piece on top of that also that kind of protrudes or sticks out if you want to do a little squiggle wiggle. Same thing over here, a little squiggle wiggle. And then that top will have a little loop and another straight line that goes right across. Oh, see, I even noticed that I made a little happy accident, as my man Bob Ross says. See how I notch this out a little bit? But I forgot to notch this one. So I can do a couple things. I could notch this one out and make it almost like a little kind of frame on there. But I could also take, and instead of just having two lines, I could add another line over here and then another line in here to kind of even it out. But I kind of like that first thing that I said. So I'm gonna take this squiggle and kind of squiggle up there. And then I'm gonna add that other squiggle on there. And then it kind of looks even on both sides, adds a little bit more decoration to it. See, no mistakes, just happy accidents for my design on the door. I'm gonna start it out basic and then you can take it to wherever your brain starts to think. I'm gonna have a straight line on each side of it. So this one's gonna go down, and then this one also will go down, kinda even, okay? And then towards the bottom, it's gonna curve, and then have another curve meeting up with that, so kinda like a V. And then the upside down V going towards the top. So it kinda curves up, and then curves out. Looks pretty basic now. If you want to add a little squiggle wiggle. Squiggle wiggle on each side. Try to make them about even. Same thing on the top, squiggle wiggle. Squiggle wiggle. Nice. Now it has a little bit of unique design on here. The last thing is a little doorknob. I'm gonna do a circle. Let's add a circle. Good size doorknob on there. That's kind of right when they touch and grab the doorknob is kind of when they transfer their gift or their powers. An arch line at the top and then a little bigger one at the bottom that looks nice this is about all that i'm going to require for my students is to have some sort of design on their door and then have the basic outline of kind of wall and floor from there it is wherever their brain and ideas and creativity can inspire and put their gift and themselves on their door so i'm going to go through and add kind of the next step where i would like my students to get to and then i'll go through it really fast and kind of start decorating and color and designing all mine so let's go through that cool I 
think I got some good composition. I did my little trick on the bottom of here to make it almost look like floor tiles or wood floors uh, where you kind of do some lines going straight and then they curve to the side and then diagonal this way and then they do the opposite way this way. So they're always kind of pointing over here. I'm going to outline this in Sharpie and then start thinking about how I'm going to do my colors. Colors are really important um, to Encanto. Um, they separate the two different families of actually warm colors and cool colors. And I think that as an art teacher, that's really, really cool how they play it and pay attention to the different colors along with all their different powers and gifts that they have that I'm still going to be thinking about what's Mr. Shooty's gift and how his door design is going to be. So let's go through that real quick. definitely looks great now uh, now I'm excited to, to, to use some of my gift and my special powers that might give you a hint on what my gift is um, show you a little trickery and a little magical powers as I do my gift and maybe Mirabelle will help me as I was kind of giving a little sneak peek on what I was looking at for inspiration had some of my door designs on here and Bam! Look at these. I gotta even pop my camera off here to see all these awesomeness. Um, this was one of my favorite ones. Uh, turned out, um, you can see the one that I kind of inspired and went off of. Uh, but then I kind of dabbled into a little scratch art with this. And this turned out really cool. If you can see it without my light. There you go. Um, turned out awesome. You can do a really cool design and it kind of glows in there. So I guess singing was her special gift on here. I had Jordan Jumpman leaping. <laughs> is his gift out here. My daughter even did a little one over here that turned out really cool. So all in all, it's a really fun project, really simple ideas and simple concept, but then you can take it however that you want. So hopefully you guys had fun with this as you can see, clearly see, I had fun with this. So as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Channel. We'll talk to you guys later.